Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just crawl at home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. We're on our own. Friends, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. How? Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the Father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see.
church. Stick close. Eyes open. These folks can smoke easily. Rook, I mean, this is why I'm What are they doing here? Be calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Sheriff, I don't like this. Everything's fine, Hudson. Everything's just fine. Jesus Christ, you're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges much up here. They'll respect a 9mm. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet, Marshal. Thank you. Take our guns, take our freedom, take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, come on. Hold on, Marshall. We will not let their greed or their immorality or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff, not there will be no more afraid. suffering. Not for me. Joseph C., I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. moment would come, and we've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal, and I heard, as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see. Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was a white horse. And hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. Sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away. Let's go. Take point, going right. On it. Stay on the path, rookie.
Marshal, I'm ordering you to stand back.
might get inside. Is anyone still out there? Listen, if anyone's still alive. Jesus Christ. Rook, I'm sorry. I thought they got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Check the room, Rook. Oh, Jesus. I had no idea. Putting his whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then, we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard and we're gonna take out the rest of these.
You know what that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it. For years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. found something that fits. I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want them back, I get it. I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's 
there's got to be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're going to do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. die for that psychopath that's leading them. These loony fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. Should have some good gear squirreled away. Shit. Kid. I just saw the cult grab a guy down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to pick up a gun and return the favor.
Sniper stash. If you can find your way inside, there's usually a bunch of useful shit that's been squirreled away. Go take a look. You better tell us what you know. Cult's been creeping around the island for weeks. Looks like they're trying to set up a base of operations at the old ranger station. Hey, 
by Jacob Seed, oldest brother of that fucking family. Jacob's the one training the cult, and he's damn good at what he does. Eli and the Whitetail Militia been trying to hold out, but Jacob's ready to step on their necks. Southeast of there, you got the Henbane River. That's Faith's territory. The little sister. I've heard all sorts of stories about people losing their minds in a place called the Bliss. Now head west to the Holland Valley. John C. has just rolled in there and has taken everything in the name of the cult. Food, supplies, and worst of all, people. I'm picking up plenty more calls all over the county. I'll keep you posted on anything that'll be useful. The fog should be clearing soon, which means we can get you off this island. Sit tight. Shouldn't be much longer. Oh shit. Deputy, I'm picking up something new out of Holland Valley. It's a broadcast from John. You need to see this. We are all sinners. Every one of us. You, me, even the Father knows deeply of sin. It's a poison that clouds our minds. What if I told you you could be free from sin? What if I told you that everything you ever dreamed could come true? What if I told you that everything could be overcome if you embraced an idea? Freedom from sin can come from the power of just one word. Yes, I am a sinner. Yes, I wish to be unburdened. Yes, I must be. Redeemed. If you're watching this, know that you have been selected. You will be cleansed. You will confess your sins. And you will be offered atonement. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything. We'll come for you. Welcome to Eden's Gate. Falls End. 